Afternoon, this is an overview of PrestaShop. It's a e-commerce solution, online shop. And basically, if you wanted to set up a website where you could sell your own goods, whether it's virtual goods, physical goods, um, globally, locally, whatever, um, this offers a very, very good solution that's quick and easy to set up and very easy to manipulate and change things. As you can see here, this is it out of the box, quick install got all its logos and stuff you can change all this it's got sliders so you can put your best sale items on here you can put all alter the front page as well so you can have your best items here and then obviously you've got all your subcategories and everything else the other thing is it's set up with bootstrap as well which means it will work pretty much on all mobile devices so whether it's a phone a tab whatever it works fine which is another good important point now it pretty much does what you would need for any online store. For example, you can log in here. You can log in, you can make your purchases, see your old purchases, etc. cetera. Um, I can see you can also have special offered items, everything you need for a store. Now we'll look at the back end. So we'll just go over this as an overview today. I'm not gonna explain anything in too much detail. As you can see here, this is the dashboard, which actually tells you how much you've sold on what day, how many orders were sold, how much they were worth. And as you can see there, conversion rates. Um, now, if we go down the left-hand side, you can see a breakdown. If we look at orders, you can see the invoices. You can alter the invoices for the details on the top as well. Uh, credit slips, delivery slips, shopping carts, all the information's in there. Catalog, you can put your products in there. The categories, the, the monitoring side, I'm not sure what monitoring actually is. The attributes and features of each one, the brands and suppliers. So obviously you can put your suppliers in there because if you're getting supplied directly, you can monitor how much stock you have as well. Uh, that's another thing that does have is stock information. Let's have a quick look at monitoring. There we go. List of empty categories, let's suppose. Okay, so it's a monitoring platform, but it's not populated yet. Customer service, people can send you messages on the platform and then you can respond to them. Uh, it keeps everything in the dashboard. The reason that's quite good is instead of having emails that disappear off somewhere else, because it's all inside the interface, it means that more than one person can actually deal with inquiries as well as see what the other responses were. So that's quite useful as well. Um, and obviously you've got the stats, which we're looking at right now. Daily stats, weekly, monthly, yearly. Breakdown of how many people register, percentage of orders, a lot of information in there. You can add more modules as well. There's a large amount of modules. We'll just go over this quickly because there's modules for payments, there's module for designs, modules for different types of interfaces. There you go, advanced search, different labels, professional blogging, MailChimp, so you can do mail shots, customer ratings and reviews, advanced pack crate um, bundles of products so you can you know like for example say you have five shirts that are two dollars each you might sell them as a bundle for eight dollars for a two dollar saving and there's lots of different things as you can see that you could add as add-ons design wise you can alter the theme and the logo you can alter the entire theme as well um, so like as you can see here, it's asking you, do you want that header logo or do you want to upload your own? So there's a lot of stuff in here. And then it, when we get down to shipping, you can actually add your carriers and set them up by the weight or whatever the setup you have an agreement with your carrier. Uh, some places it's weight, sometimes it's down to a certain amount for a package size. You set all that up here and then it just automates that whole process. The payment methods, you add them in here, but you may need some extra modules because it may not have everything you need. Maybe like your the banking system or merchant processing uh, may have a particular one that you use that will interface with PrestaShop through a uh, module, and then you just add that in there. Then obviously from an international point of view, you've got what areas you can cover, and any tax issues and obviously there'll be some issues around the packaging as well so there's a fair bit in here and initially i recommend starting at the shop uh, parameters which is the basic settings of your store and you, you work away from that 
But what you're looking at doing is ending up with a working store, has everything in there, and as you can see here, let's do a, do a quick one. We'll just buy a couple of items, we'll throw a couple of items. Yeah, so we want that. One of a different size, one a bigger one, add to cart, and it should just throw it straight up there into my cart. And as you can see, proceed to check out, and it may not let me check out simply because I haven't set up any payment processes. Order as a guest or sign in. Ordering as a guest means it won't save your information um, for logging in again. So if you if it was a one-off payment, that's a guest order. If somebody's gonna use your store regularly, they'll normally set up their account once so that every time they come in they don't have to fill all this information in but very simple system works really well and it's been around a while which is why i'm quite happy to promote and show you how to use it thanks for watching